Just a look on the outside, guys. The guest house here, very beautiful. Lots of green. And that's the street out there. What is happening guys? Jason here back again for another YouTube video. Today I have arrived in Chiang Mai, beautiful Chiang Mai. This is my very first time here in Chiang Mai and uh, I'm very excited to explore this place. A lot of you guys have requested Chiang Mai, a lot of you guys have told me nothing but positive things about Chiang Mai. So uh, today I'm finally here, I'm finally arrived in Chiang Mai and I'm here to show you guys my room. I rented out an Airbnb uh, for just over a week, about eight or nine nights I think it was from memory. Um, it's just a guest house, a very, very affordable guest house and it is in a great location in the middle of Old City or just outside of the Old City actually, but it's in a great location. It's in this sort of local Thai neighborhood. Um, definitely got that local feel to it, but um, it's close to many cafes and restaurants and uh, you're very short drive outside of uh, the old city here in Chiang Mai. So this is the price that I paid for this guest house. I believe it is called Bang Kong Rao. I hope I got that correct. But anyway, I'll leave it written on the screen for you guys. Um, so you guys can check it out for yourself if you want to have a look at it as well. I'll also leave um, the Airbnb listing um, in the description box as well down below so you guys can check it out for yourselves if you're interested in renting uh, a, a room here at this guest house. But very, very uh, cheap price that I paid here. Incredible, it's like 300 something baht per night here. And uh, I think I paid for eight nights. It was like 2,500 baht off the top of my head, man. That is just so good. And um, it's a really vintage style guest house. It's a beautiful guest house. You got like this teak wood, sort of setting here in the room and uh, I can't wait to show you guys the room. Let's get it going. All right, so from the front door here, we've got the room here. Um, we've got a nice, very comfortable bed here. I believe it's a queen or a king, but it's a very, very comfortable um, bed. We've got some towels provided for you as well. Um, as I mentioned at the start, the teak wood sort of um, layout here is, is very beautiful here. I really, really like this. Um, layout of this room. You've got a balcony over here. Got a TV, some cups, and a bar fridge as well. I'll show you guys that as well. There it is. Oh, they give you two, three, three bottles of water. That's very good. Um, but yeah, that's it there. What else we got here? Oh, you got a you got a rug for a shower. Got a desk here to do some work or whatever, edit videos, whatever it is, and. Um, I'll go back to the front door. This is the front door. And I want to show you guys this front door, man. It's a very like, a lot of sort of like a Balinese style front door, like a villa. Like, you, you know, when you guys rent out like a villa in the Bali or something, you got that sort of classic front door. I felt like I was rocking up to a Bali pool villa when I checked in here, but <laughs> yeah, it's quite amazing. Um, you've also got one of these padlocks that you have to lock the door with every time you go out. So it's very, very interesting, but yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Um, you've got this sort of, I guess it's like a clothes hanger or a jacket hanger, whatever, whatever it is, you could use that as a potential um, hanger for your clothes. Um, and here is also the wardrobe. Um, they give you some hangers already, but I uh, definitely recommend bringing your own. But lots and lots of space. You've got two drawers down the bottom here and lots of uh, space for any long stay people. Um, before I forget, I'm gonna show you guys the balcony. This is actually, this room actually has two balconies um, as well. Uh, just open this up. Not uh, an amazing view, but uh, it's a decent sized balcony. You've got two chairs provided, which is very good. We'll go outside here. There we go. This is from the outside. You got some trees. There it is, yeah. Very, very good. Decent sized balcony. Just lock that. Lock that up there. There we go. All right, so that's the first balcony. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you guys the TV already. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, anyway, that's the 
second balcony over here and I don't want to disturb anyone if I'm viewing um, but uh, that's the balcony here more or less to hang uh, your clothes just out there which is good to get lots of sunlight um, and you've got the view of the street down there uh, the local street there with the mountains in the back I don't know if you guys can see that beautiful but uh, yeah not a big balcony of the other one but um, it's there for you uh, this is the bathroom. I'll just turn the light on here. You got your toilets. They give you some shampoo and uh, cotton buds there for your ears. <laughs> um, there is a mirror, guys. How you guys doing? Um, got sink. Oh, I like this little feature here as well. It's very nice. Very yeah. nice for the sink. And this is your shower as well, um, which is a nice, decent sized shower. And again, it's separated to the toilet, which is always good to see. <laughs> Um, I don't know what's inside here. Oh, okay, that's your hot water heater. I was assuming that was the case, but yeah, it's enclosed in this little little door here. But that's the shower there for you guys as well. But overall, man, um, there's another mirror, guys. Again, how you guys doing? <laughs> uh, this is the the view from the bathroom area, looking out towards the main uh, the main sort of room here but um overall guys i think this is a great value room and i'm really enjoying this guest house i think it's a great room uh leave a comment if you guys would stay here as well but uh, the great thing about this guest house also it has a really cool rooftop area that you can see a lot a, a nice view of the mountains in the background and there's some of the city of chiang mai i think it's on the fourth or fifth floor um it's an amazing amazing room uh, um, amazing view from the from the rooftop area. I'm going to show you guys that now as well. Let's check it out. Wowzers! Check out that view, guys. Holy crap! This is from the rooftop. Here in uh, Chiang Mai, on my guest house here, look at that. Beautiful. Alrighty, so that's the rooftop area guys, but um, I'm gonna show you guys some footage also around the guest house later on uh, during my stay here in Chiang Mai. But um, uh, I, I will talk about now flying here from Konken. So I flew here from Konken to Chiang Mai. It was a very smooth flight, just a one hour flight, if that. Um, we pretty much went up and came down like 10, 15 minutes later. It was just very, very quick. Um, but um, any of the, uh, you know, I'm sure a lot of people would have questions about any, like, were they checking the vax requirements or were they checking about vaxes and all this sort of stuff um actually no it was nothing at all they were not checking anything regarding the vax um or if you were jabbed or anything like that they didn't ask anything they didn't ask for any uh, uh proof of that um it was just very smooth coming from konken i will say coming from bangkok it might be a different story you may be required to provide a COVID test or um, they may test you uh, at random when you arrive in Chiang Mai with the antigen test, the ATK antigen test, the rabbit test. But um, I was not checked for anything. Uh, it was just, yeah, picking up my bags, went straight out like normal, like a normal, like normal times. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's, that's what happened with me. I came here with uh, the taxi. Uh, so I uh, came from the airport to the hotel, uh, to the guest house with a taxi uh, that was booked um, at the airport. They had these little booths there, and usually, you know, when you arrive in Bangkok, for example, you know, you get hounded for for taxis and overpriced, ridiculously overpriced charges, like eight hundred baht to go to Sukhumvit from Savannapum Airport. Um, but um, no, this in this case, um, they do a flat rate of 150 baht. Um, it didn't take too long to get from the airport to here. It was like 15 minutes I was here. So uh, not too long, but 150 baht for that, which I thought was quite reasonable. I was more than happy to pay for that. Um, didn't want to go through the hassle of getting grab. I don't think you can get grab with all the taxis around here, especially, you know, so. Um, but yeah, guys, that was my experience coming here from Konken to Chiang Mai. Very, very smooth. Uh, no complaints from me whatsoever and um, yeah that was it that was my experience and this is my room here in Chiang Mai again what do you guys think I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below but uh, I'm very very 
excited to be here in Chiang Mai, guys. Make sure you stay tuned to this channel for lots of content coming from Chiang Mai. I'm very excited to be bringing that to you and I'm very excited to be exploring Chiang Mai. But again, what do you guys suggest? This is my first time in Chiang Mai. I know a lot of you guys are so enthusiastic about Chiang Mai. What do you guys recommend me checking out? Um, again, this is my first, first time, so I'd love to hear your recommendations, your suggestions. I will obviously all take them on board. So uh, hit me up with a comment down below and I'd love to hear your, your suggestions and uh, I'll try and check them out. But thanks guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel for upcoming videos from Chiang Mai and as well as upcoming videos in the future. And don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified of any upcoming videos as well. And be sure to click the thumbs up button on this video. It really helps out the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm very, very grateful for your time. God is good. Let the journey continue. I'm in Chiang Mai, baby.